What's up guys, it's me, Janne here, and yeah, it's been a while since the last stream. I believe it was on Thursday or something. But yeah, I'm back. And today I'll be doing the front wheel drive league with the 60s Mini. And the thing here is that there are also the F2 kit cars available. So I'm trying to create a small upset, if you can say it like that, with the Mini and hopefully I can somewhat surprise the competitors with the Mini. And here we have... Well, we're having stages from different countries on the, on the different legs of the rally so it's gonna be interesting on how I'll do the setup on the car especially since there's like in Germany and Greece on the same on the same uh, same leg so those two require completely different different set up compared to each other so that's going to be rather interesting and let's see if the mini is now better with this gearing setup Five, since four, the default three, setup is two, way one, too short go. on the one first gear it's not even fun how short it is It's like dead. even shorter than Rio Harrianto's Formula 1 career. So. But yeah, I have to really push the Mini to its limits to be even somewhat competitive here in, here in the front wheel drive league. Left one long and right three long don't cut opens over crest 60. Care right six into left five don't cut past junction to finish. Yeah, it feels quite all right to be honest. So I'll save that setup as base and yeah it's there so that's the way I can always look for the correct gearing setup for in between of the stages when there's the service and yeah let's see how I can Five, four, compare how I'll do two, compared to the F2 one, kit cars. Right four, press line, over 100. But the good thing about the Mini is that six, it is rather crest. easy to take it to the limit. And it's... Dead. When you're right, on the limit, it's still three. not that difficult to drive. That's so... Bad, camber, 60. Keep mid over two crests, right six. Especially if you compare it to the cut, most difficult cars in the game, this is like... A walk in the park, pretty much. Yeah. But if you were to drive the Lancia O37, you would struggle a lot. And I lose a lot of time, especially on these slow sections, since I don't have the same amount of power that the F2 kit cars have and I don't know if I'm as agile as them either might be but I'm not sure and as well when I'm going uphill that's when I'm losing time as well to the kit cars but when there's downhill stages I should be pretty much on par with them Fuck. let's take it back about that 
easy to take to the limit thing. <laughs> no, I just wasn't, wasn't. I wasn't concentrating on the notes enough. And yeah, I got somewhat speed blind, if you could say, since I was going so fast. So long time flat out. And I didn't even realize that I was supposed to break and that's why I crashed into the audience. Oh, the understeer. Massive. But the other thing with the mini is that you have to be as smooth as possible so you won't lose any time and momentum on the corners since it's going to be slow as fuck to get the car back to the top speed even though the top speed isn't that much oops didn't get the gear in but yeah this is pretty much the optimal optimal training car in this game to learn the basics first and yeah it's slow and it's easy to control and it's small and agile so you have time to react pretty much to anything and you have to be smooth as I said and that's going to be important in this game to be smooth but also you have to know when you have to be somewhat rough with your driving like sliding around and everything And some clutch kicks there to get the revs up. Oh, and we are finishing the stage now. And I don't know if you guys saw, but I had a 12 second penalty for crashing into the crowd, so... We have to see... <laughs> nowhere near the F2 kit class. Nowhere near. Yep. 47 seconds. Even if you minus the 12 seconds, it's still 35 seconds behind. Damn. This is going to be a long event. You know, like, really long. And, um, yeah, both of these are uphill, so that's bad for me. And this is uphill as well. Well, finally there's something downhill. And uphill, uphill, downhill, uphill, and so on. It's going to be rather difficult. But I'm extremely happy if I can be like within 10 seconds of the fastest time on any stage. And it would be really interesting to see the split times of the other drivers to see where I lose time the most. Whoa. That was lucky. Like really lucky. And this is a really difficult corner to get right with pretty much any car. Man. I somewhat fucked it up. Come on, go on now. Yeah, this is embarrassingly slow when you're going uphill. Like Camille is slow. 
Whoa. And right by part block 80. Right two times to 160. But yeah, when we get to Finland, it's going to be absolutely flat out. In there. Since I believe that we had like at least a couple of stages in Finland. And yeah, you can see that I can't even get the fourth gear on those uphills. But this gearing setup is working quite well on these three stages since here on these fast sections I'm reaching the limiter on the on the fourth gear and I'm not struggling that much from slow acceleration that I could be if I had worse gearing setup. Hey, nice to have you here. I'm glad that you could join and watch me suck with this mini and hopelessly try to battle the F2 kit cars of this front wheel drive league. Hard to get enough momentum for handbrake turns when going uphill, so that's why I'm driving them like in a circuit. Circuit car. And you should try it, it's rather fun. Even though, yeah, it is slow as hell, but. It's fun when you can sometimes actually like think what you're doing instead of just acting acting on completely on reflexes. And hello, nice that you could join as well. Yeah, it is. And it is perfect for learning the basics on this game. And I like it how it is rather easy to take to the limit. And we have finished the second stage in five seconds probably. <laughs> Oh, that was a lot cleaner run than the first one. But yeah, 33 seconds. That was pretty much the same that I was calculating from on the last stage. Because I had the penalty and I was taking it off from that time. But yeah, <laughs> already a minute and 20 from the fastest guy so far. And we are only two stages down on the event and yeah finally we can get to Germany but I don't know actually if it's a good thing or a bad thing since yeah I am rather good in Germany but those kit cars are absolutely amazingly fast here and I'm driving up hills most of the stage so it's going to be really pain in the ass to try and survive um, it would be good if you could like set up the gears and that would be it load preset let's see what it says about the gears okay three <laughs> All right, something like that. So let's revert to the basic default setup and then scramble with the gears a bit. Oh, hi, Jeremy. Nice that you could join. 
and yeah nice that you could join this <laughs> really not that much else that uh, I would have to say at the moment there yeah, now I really need to push hard so I don't completely lose this oh <laughs> actually I have al already lost this on the same second that I picked the mini but <laughs> yeah Hope I'd be really happy on to be within 10 seconds of the fastest time on one stage yeah thanks Jeremy it was nice to do something like that with like a preset uh, time that I had to compare myself into and that was fun and that took like so many tries Yeah, this is basically like a Sunday drive at the moment. And the gears could have been slightly longer. What is do you mean the attack video for this car? <laughs> And if you're Caution, talking right about six, the car, I'm 100 person up. certain that you are being Heavy sarcastic. Right. 60. Right four tights, three don't cut. And left two half long, keep mid bumps. And left three past junction through gate. Right five long past junction. Left um, sorry, I had about that. Name doesn't ring any bells at all. And yeah, the gears could have been a bit longer. And it seems like the brakes on this car are from Roman Grosjean's Haas. Since the brakes are pretty much non existent. Oh, right, I didn't follow that competition at all, so I was. I was a bit confused. Alright, that's a good pick. For and now we have to cut a bit to be competitive. And yeah, the gear should have been a lot longer. But yeah, this is pretty much the maximum that I can do with this car. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Even though you guys would write me some sort of short story in there, I could read it. No trouble at all. Whoa! Finish, here we come! <laughs> oh, that was fun. Wow, surprisingly close. Either those guys can't drive that well or or I was just being lucky I don't know but surprisingly small gap to the guys ahead but yeah this car is better probably on tarmac since the surface is a lot more solid you know so there's not that much wheel spin and yeah it, w it would be great to see a privateer win the event but I think it's 
somewhat unlikely. And yeah, now we are in the atomic setup of <laughs> the last stage, so this is gonna be interesting. Five, four, Since the car is three, probably two, as low as possible. And the first gear was surprisingly short again, I don't know what it is. Uh, understeer. I don't think this is the setup that I put on this car in the last services. The first gear is really short. Yeah, the first gear is pretty much useless now on this car, since it's a shorter time than Felipe Massa's retirement from Formula 1. Whoa! I think some brown stuff came onto my pants right there. But that was lucky. Especially considering that I didn't lose that much time in it. any hope of being close to the leaders on this stage. Shame really that this one was going quite alright before that one. I think it might have reverted the car to the default setup when we came from Germany back to Greece or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm pushing as far as I can, even though it might not look like it. But that goes. That's because of the car. Yeah, can't do that much more with this to be honest and yeah 42 seconds somewhere around the half half a minute mark without the penalty so this is quite hopeless <laughs> to be honest it would be great if this league would have like a lot more participants so I would actually have someone to race against. But yeah, this is gonna be a good stage, this... Well, this one, I, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name, but... 
you can read it from the screen, right? Yeah, repair, all back to 100, and set up. No, this is... Uh, Why it's back to default setup? But yeah, this is the front wheel drive league. I don't remember whose this is. But yeah, this is not uh, Sim Reddit, Sim Rally Reddit League, that's for sure. Um, this is going to be slow, but hopefully this will be fast. Let's see how it works out for me. Hopefully good, but three, two, can't one, really tell. Yeah, yeah now the first gear is left entry, more appropriate. Right oh, I break way too early for that one. Caution, turn, open head and right, don't cut down. Oh, on exit. Almost hit the barrier on the outside. But yeah, this is pretty much as close as you can get to circuit racing on the rally. Since here the technique is really similar and the surface as well. Apart from the massive bumps, some some places. I think that I might have set the final gear a bit too short. I wish I could have. Like one more Bank gear on, on this one, so I could distribute the uh, power six, more evenly on the gears. Yeah, I have to cut again to be Press. even somewhat competitive. Yeah, this is pretty much a Sunday drive for me. I don't think that I probably will even break sweat on this one. Nailing the apex. Pretty cute. It's gonna be interesting that how far this mini will fly from the huge jump that is coming up in probably one kilometer. I think I'm going to jump straight to the next stage of the rally or something. At least I would if I would have the longer gears, but. But imagine if the Group B cars had the same kind of braking abilities as this car has. That would be horrible. Like, oh my god, I even feel bad just thinking about it. And yeah, we're going flat out. Probably like 50 kilometers. <laughs> Didn't fly like at all. And Landed surprisingly. Well, oh, I was just able to keep it in there. I wish there would be more German stages on this event. Yeah, pretty much the smallest jump ever. If I would have like a high yeah top speed, then I would have probably flew, yeah, probably would have flew a bit more, but still not that much. I think I've gotten like my best jump out of the wheat, I don't know, probably Lancia Stratus or the Subaru Impreza, 
2001. Oh, I'm up to second. <laughs> but not by my driving, only because the other guy was nowhere to be found. I hope that the that the one guy who is still driving or who has actually already driven these stages I hope that he would be driving for like at least stage 12 or something so I could reach the halfway point of this and then finish it next week Five, or something when there's four, more three, two, one, go. Again, it's with the right five, thing wrong down, gearing. And Left normally, press, well, I think they down. are like almost closer to Option 100 right, participants, but right five, this is a new season, so there isn't four, that many yet participating. Off. And I believe right that five, cut, quite many people right, have six, already five, stopped press. playing Dirt Rally. Left, six, and they are already waiting for. Dirt 4, which is 25 days right away six, from us. Six, but they are flat out as down. usual through here. I wish it would be this down. easy with the uh, Lancia Delta S4 on the month six. event, but so I highly down. doubt it. And I'll probably do and that. tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday something like that it's a left six press bump and right six through dead yeah I'm driving like a grandma at the moment left around three. Yes, there's no fast way around these hairpins with this car I think that the fastest way around a hairpin with this car would be by walking around it Honestly. Right six, pressed, 80. I'm, I can't even Left believe how much I'm losing. Time right over here. What do you Left guys think? How much will I lose press. to the fastest time? And press jump, baby. My guess is somewhere around one minute right or six, so. Right Okay, could have shifted the first a bit later. But yeah, uh, I'm not driving that well at the moment either. Since the car setup is nowhere near to my liking. And I don't know why it reverted. Like back to the default setup. Yeah, it's really short. I like it how the revs are just staying the same pretty much. Not going anywhere, not going up or not going down. Yeah, pretty, pretty much easier to use the second gear on the hairpins instead of the first. At least that way you can actually get away from the corner before the next driver is coming into that corner. Yeah, it was. As useless as Lance Troll is at the Williams at the moment. They're probably like almost a minute behind the faster guy. No, he's not driving anymore. Damn. But hey, the good side in that was is that <laughs> I'm now in P1 with the mini. But yeah, this is horrible. I think like I probably should like drive 
only the next two stages or so that th this wouldn't be like extremely boring and there would be something to drive something to drive against other people next week or so and the other gears are back to the previous setup and that's pretty much it yeah but then Five, I'm setting the fastest four, times three, currently two, so one, I can be happy go. about it Yeah, apparently no hairpin on these stages. No, I mean no handbrake on the hairpin on these stages either. If I want to maintain even some sort of speed through the corner, apparently there's like no way of going around those corners that tight with a speed that is a uh, double digit number so this is gonna be slow like James May slow and that's bad I went wide. I forgot that this has the turning ability of a brick. But they are flat out again. And on this somewhat fast section, you have to actually work the wheel a bit. And That was well, a slightly different one, and you probably have heard of engine braking and left foot braking, and that was environmental braking over there. That is completely new. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was just about to say that you can go flat out through this one, <laughs> but apparently not. And hello, my name is Janne and I don't want to apparently finish this. And Jeremy, what are you... Oh, what are you meaning with the group P? Oh, we'll drive a kappa or something. That's all I can see on my screen, so... That's weird. Mm. Probably the ones from the Finnish manufacturer Panda. Since my grandpa worked for the worked in their factory back when he was when he was working and not retired. Oh okay. <laughs> I haven't heard of it. So yeah. I was lost once again and 
Wow, those wipers are working poorly on there. But yeah, fastest again so far. I'm happy. <laughs> and yeah, now we're going to true Jeffron Forest or something like that. And this is weird. And this is gonna be really slow, you know, with the stadium section on the beginning of the stage. So, <laughs> this is gonna be rather interesting. Yeah, I'm going to be like Five, really slow. Four, three, two, one, go. Right four long, sixty of pumps. Left six. I'm happy if right I can finish the stage crest, within the junction. thirty minute it's time okay, limit that there is. Three through gate that splash. would actually be left already four. somewhat of an ac accomplishment. It's a left six over jump. It's a caution. Left three continues over jump. I would like absolutely love a league that is all about the front wheel drive cars from the 60s. They will be everything but fun. But at least I can go flat out through here now. <laughs> or apparently not. <laughs> And the uh, jump and then right the right hand corner is right going to be probably absolutely right. flat out. You know, the one that was in my it's most satisfying corners list. That was probably like the first corner that I could remember. Right in this six, game. And now there pretty much isn't a, right six, a corner that I couldn't remember. Crest, jump maybe past junction. 170. But hopefully the right four will be that good right as they are promising it to be. So we won't be crest, able to learn the tracks right two, long or the stages. Inside. Right six, left six, no, I have to right break a bit. Crest, one, ten, Otherwise, three, I would have run Caution, over right the four, long, audience right, three, over on the right, outside of the corner. Left, but left. knowing the size and weight of the mini, right, four, long, the car probably would have got some worse left, four, damage left, four, compared to the spectators. Wouldn't right, well, even be surprised. Oh, some two-wheel action there five, for all you Moto right GP fans left watching two. this. A and bit of a right cut six, there. Into left six, into right three long, into turn left three, you know, long, maximum attack and all that. Maybe. All that stuff. Into right four sixty. Turn right six. I like it how yeah, I have to shift back crest, to second gear. I'm going uphill right. and having to go through a corner. Right six. Into left four half long. Keep in. Fuck. Even though I start started breaking for the corner like on the previous stage already, two, I almost in. managed to run it wide. Right five long one hundred. Right one don't cut. Into left six. Into right three. Into left yeah, two long over Massive long understeer. Long I feel like right changing button at the moment. Right three over press. Sixty keep left over press. Right four don't cut sixty. Left six 
long over crest. It's a care right for long. Don't cut logs inside. 60. But yeah, it would be really amazing to have like a front wheel travel lead with only the 60s down. with it's this right and a uh, full of via H F. Right it would be, six. you know, something different. It's a left and six that's over why it would be like really fun. It's a right four continues over crest. It's a left six 60 pass junction. Turn left one, 40. Turn right two, don't cut, bad camber. Into left six. I wish I could to get enough Into speed right on this car to actually slide through the corners. But nope, not, four, not happening. Into caution, turn square right, don't cut, logs on exit. Right six, don't cut. Into left six, 60. Yeah. Left three, long, don't cut. I can't wait it right either. Six, 60, but I believe that it is right hand drive, so right five, that has three, tight, lowered my enthusiasm right for it for a bit. Right another six, big cut there to be right four, maximum attack and all that. Portion, left six, long. Over crest jump, right five, and right five long, it's a left six long, over crest, it's a right six half long. I Two wonder games, what it would have been like if right Colin McRae would have drive, drove with the Mini back right in like the 60s. Left six, Probably right somewhat three, long, like this, 40. but even right five, shit goes fast. Left five over crest continues and tight to four. Yeah, but as right saw Left six, right six. Um, in one of the trailers or gameplay videos or something right that five, long, into caution, left it six, big jump, was right, right hand drive. I hope that I'm wrong, but right three, long past junction. I don't know, it might be that jump, they have right five, long, laser scanned the car from the one that Richard Burns was using at the beginning of his career and that was British or made for the British market so it was a right hand drive but yeah I would love it if it would be left hand drive and I hope that I'm wrong about it being a right hand drive car but yeah it will be a sad sad day if it is right hand drive. Turn half and right. Into left two, tight to one, over press, 60 to finish. Did you see it from some video as well? Oh, oh fastest again. Nice. I'm really happy with my driving. No one can catch me at the moment. They haven't even reached the leaderboards yet. That's how fast I am. I hope that there will be at least an option to select like from left hand and right hand drive car. But I doubt it a lot. But that would be great. And yeah, next up we have. I think I'm going to drive like 12 stages, so it's going to be half of the rally. And the remaining 12 stages, like somewhere in the next week or so. The first time that I've, I'm not able to get everything back to 100 is that, yeah, there is still the same setup. And this is gonna be slow on the Oberstein since we are having the. Probably, once again, it will convert the setup back to the default. I hope that's not the case, but you'll never know. But first, through this one. 
I think I should do like all the remaining maximum attack Mondays videos before the four with this car. Right two long, don't cut. Into left three long. That would be and right four over crest. fun and weird and left six, slow. Over crest, jump maybe. Right three long, 60. At least if I'm not Caution, driving it as well as on the uh, maximum three, attack man Monday from last week. That right was six. the tribute to it's Timo Mackinen right as well. Left five, keep right over crest. But probably not since left six into one right six, try would probably crest. take like 16 minutes or so. Right over oh, crest. what the keep fuck? In. The car like got stuck in the rut or something and I couldn't turn it right and then I went wide into the banks. Left four, but they are long. still in one piece. But Left that's three long. going to hurt my chances it's a right six. to get the Left six through gate car 16. through the event in Left four into right four long keep mid over big jump gate. Left six. Piece. Cutting there and again right since I'm a cheating baby. bastard. Actually, this is like the first time during this stream that I actually have to concentrate that much that I can't immediately read the comment. Yeah, I believe that it will be better balanced since... And again... But yeah, I believe that the car classes will be better balanced in dirt 4 <coughs> since they have the Lancia full wheel and outside. this one and in the same six. class and right they six, have six. the Renault Alpine there with the 70s car the right cars five, of the game Turn half and right. yeah I was really lucky into left six, 60. Caution, turn left three, bad camber, don't cut. Into right six, over crest, turn right one. Into keep left, past junction, crest. Right six, half long. And left four, long, over crest. And right five, continue to 100. Left six, it's caution right two, times to one. Into left four long, and crest, and keep right over crest, and left six, 60. Finish. Oh, that the left hand side light was crooked. Oh, actually, it's crooked already in there. So my driving didn't cause that. But yeah, I want to see what happened there <laughs> with the ruts or something. Now I want to see what was it that drove me left into the bank. Okay, barely getting hang time there. You can see, like. Just a tiny bit of hang time. Alright, that was the case. Let's see, I'm going here, I'm going to the left. And apparently I'm getting stuck in that sort of a ditch. You can see that my front wheels are pointing right, but the car just isn't turning at all. And then we go. And that was bad. And let's see about the utter lucky point as well. 
that is a bit more forward onto the stage. I just ran wide, stupid mistake, and then luckily was able to <laughs> save the car there. Oh, hello Oliver, nice that you could join us here as I'm being incredibly slow. Yeah, I have to keep you guys awake somehow, you know, since the slow driving is like probably like sleeping medicine for all of you, so I have to get some excitement to this stream. <laughs> but yeah, after I have like what, three stages before the halfway point of this rally and the end of this stream, I think I could, I don't know if I should play some rallycross. Five, for four, three, two, a couple of one, rounds. Six, oh, the gears are back to the default right setup again. I four, fucking hate this. Right two, down. The first gear is once again useless. Jump maybe past junction. Oh. Left six through dip, two hundred. Yeah, but I think it's a bit more important for your future that you study for those exams instead of watching these streams. And I can understand that fully. I just hope that your exams will go well and you get good grades from them. And yeah, the first gear is completely useless in here again since the setup is back to D4 once again, and I don't know why. I think the first gear would be useful only if I ha would have to start accelerating from a stand still while I'm going uphill. Other than that, I don't think I'll even need the first gear. Oh, where I'm going? Oh, <laughs> so, so much concentrating on the comment that I almost crashed. Okay, well that's good that, that there's not much to go anymore. And I myself have like three or four school days to go on this year and after that I can probably concentrate a bit more on making videos and streaming. I sincerely hope that you are wrong with that one. And a massive cut there as well. And yeah, I'm going probably like 100 kilometers per hour on the fourth gear on the limiter. And I don't know if this is the. I, I remember that this would be, you know, like the long version of the stage. So I will get back to the huge jump again at the end of the stage. So that's gonna be interesting if I can get any bigger jump this time around. I doubt it, but. I think I'll try to go even faster with having the car on neutral gear when going downhill so the engine won't restrict my top speed that much. Caution turn 
Yeah, yeah, it seems like this is the long version of the stage. And they are driving again as a circuit racer instead of a rally driver. Being all smooth and everything. And it is weird, weird that I don't consider it to be that good in circuit racing. Oh, I completely forgot what I was talking about, but... Alright, I can do it live here now. One. Uh, give the licenses to Codemasters and if that's not possible then the, at least the remaining four that I have fix the code driver give us the ability to give us the ability to um, change the field of view in the cockpit mode it was unbearable on the high end dive and then three more all oh, right I forgot that I don't need the first gear well I think they could add a bit better stages so that you could actually have to struggle instead of them being quite wide and two more Oh, right I take six, the stage thing back. 18. Two more, I mean three more. Better physics, realis more realistic. And then, right six, like actually, some information junction. about which Push way it goes. That, what and does it mean when you're going like press, left or cut. right with the slider in setup? Oh yeah, exactly like Jeremy was saying pretty much. And one more Let's thing. I had, I had it in my mind, but I forgot it. Yeah, let's see if I can go even. It's just going faster and faster without with being on the neutral gear. And there was something more that I was worrying about. Oh yeah, the ability to change the brightness settings and all that shit in the game itself. Since it is dark as shit, especially in the night. Even with the lights on you can't see like more than 10 meters ahead and that's not good at all. That looks so battered at the moment. But hey, there was no one faster than me this time either. I don't know how many times I can still use the joke. <laughs> Probably I've like overdone it like 16 times already within the 10 stages that I've driven. And yeah, two more stages to go before we reach the halfway point of the rally. And I believe that I'll one thing that I don't like, well, the fact that it's not out yet for us to play. That's all I can say at the moment, since I've not been able to play the game yet. There's like actually nothing else I can say about it yet. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Left six, but yeah, it would be great if they would get the 
I did the WRC license. Or, well, yeah, actually the WRC license would be great. But only if it doesn't bring the quality of the... If it doesn't bring the quality of the game down, meaning that it would be more for arcade racing. Yeah, I'm pre-ordering it probably like in this week or something as well. Since as soon as my mom pays her debts to me, I can buy the game. I think the gears are pretty good at the moment. Turn left three, okay. right past junction 100. <laughs> no, nothing like that. I'll Keep left over crest. I just bought some right stuff and she said that she would pay me back. Keep left. It's and all that. Right nothing more serious than that, so don't worry. Not in the Mafia or anything. Into right five long, don't cut. Whoa! A bit of an alternative route through that one. Um, well, it depends on how you are trying to do it, since I've seen some some do-it-yourself handbrakes done by by buying some door handle or something and then setting it up so it presses the R3 button but the way that we did it it is actually quite difficult it required quite a few expensive tools so yeah that was difficult but if you're using the door handle method then it will be easy or at least easier and I'm pretty sure that there are some educational videos about how to create the handbrake with the door handle left 680 Turn square right. Turn square left. 80 past junction. Oops, missed a gear. Left four long. 80. Oh, this is so Double slow. Double crest. Turn left six. Don't cut. Ditch outside. <coughs> 100. Turn right one. Don't cut. Keep it. I Rocks think someone exit. should do a game or a mod to right Richard five, Burns Rally or anything. That would be called Left the Eric Camille mod. It would be the Ford Fiesta WRC car, Turn but right with the power of the Mini and the handling abilities of Lancia 037. So you would be slow and crashing and out. You would be slow and crashing out all the time. And yeah, pretty much. Finish. I believe like people in wheelchairs could go faster than this car. <clears throat> and still on P1, that's nice. You know, it, it would be really awkward if the spectators would just come come and run on the side of the road and be faster on there. This is the second time that we are driving the stage. And the first time, my time was 4.07. And let's see. 
I think that it's even the conditions are the same, so now I'll Five, see. Alright, the two, first gear is useless. One, Hopefully I can improve my time at least a bit. If only I could like concentrate enough on this drive through the stage. Since last time I got some sort of penalty. Yeah, that, that would be nice. But I think the assist slow you down somewhat in this game, at, at least. So there's the penalty itself. And, and I hope that on that four, when there's the simulation handling model and then the gamer handling model that the simulation handling model wouldn't even allow any assist on the leaderboard that would be nice kicking the clutch like a like I'm kicking a small boy or something to get the revs up yeah, th that would be nice as well. I'm going in. The extreme speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Or I'm so afraid at the moment. Wow, that was another exciting excitement stunt. Yeah, I kick a lot of young boys. It's pretty much what I do for a living. I kick the clutch like I'm kicking the young boys. some young boy watching because the viewer account went down by one after I said that I'm kicking young boys probably they were scared or something would I like what it's hard to answer your question Oliver since you haven't defined what that this is that I need to tell that I like or not so like so if you could be a bit more specific with your question it would be easier for me to an answer your question yeah absolutely love it great way to vent your frustration and anger out of your body no, I'm just kidding. Of course I'm not kicking boys. Like, who really kicks boys? Everyone knows that it is, it is a lot more fun to kick little girls. No, I'm just kidding. Again. And for some reason I was slower through this passage of the stage. In the first one I was 4.07 and now I was 4.12. That's bad. Alright, clock is... That's the time. 
20 till 9 so i think i'll <coughs> drive a couple of r rounds of rally cross and then i'll call it a day streaming wise and i'll go to work on my mysterious huge video project that is coming up in 24 days <laughs> I don't know, that would be nice, but I believe somewhat frustrating as well, and I don't think that it would add that much to the game, so I'd rather like them using their resources for something that makes the game better, or give us more rallycross tracks, or cars, or anything. And yeah, I'm P2 in Sim Rally League. Shame, really. But yeah, that wasn't like the perfect drive or anything, so it's understandable. Now let's go to career and player versus player events. Yeah, pretty much. And as soon as I've been able to fit the sequential shifter plate on, I'll... I actually, I think I'll just go and search for championships and see if there's anything available. I wish that there would be more tracks, you know. It's getting quite boring at the moment. To drive only the four three of, well basically three different tracks. Huh. Apparently I'm not signed into PlayStation Network. Weird. Oh, now I am. So not to worry. I think I'll join, well not them, they have bad actually here yeah, whatever i'll join them i don't know it would be great to have like a combination of those two so you could create a stage that would be your liking or then you could just generate a random stage that you could drive against your friends Yeah, that, that's why you should buy PS4. <laughs> no, I wouldn't buy the PS4 only to play. Goddamn Rallycross. Right, we're going full circuits. Hopefully we're going soon. Since I don't... I wouldn't like that if you guys would have to wait for a long time. Alright, so we have now... Alright, we're starting soon. Okay, yeah. Jeremy and Oliver, you both need to buy PS4. Of course. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a shame that there isn't... more lobbies for you guys, but... I hope that it will change when Dirt 4 comes up and everyone is again hyped for the game and all that. Like, you know, every time there's a new game, like a shitload of people. <laughs> I'll buy nothing. I like your attitude. No setups at all, so we're going with the default. Yeah, hopefully the leagues will be cross-platform as well, so I could do like create a league that I could play with all of you guys. And yeah, hopefully they are good the new as asphalt physics but I like this one as well since 
I am rather quick on this <laughs> physics. I hope I didn't make them crash. Playing Rallycross with the Mini is like probably the same that it was in the late 80s, early 90s when there was that Mazda rally car in Group A. You know, since it was low on power and this is as well and I don't even remember when's the last time that I've lost a car like that. And that was embarrassing. Hopefully I can at least make some sort of comeback on this if I could only push away from the Peugeot guy. Whoa. I'll go be Joker now. Way too carefully in. Oh, well, only one position, but now I'm last, so thank you, Mr. Spotter. An interesting place to park the car. Can't really remember Tanex. Okay. This is weird. That was really weird. My controller, well, my wheel actually, just disconnected somehow. That was the first one. But yeah, I can't remember 10x 2013 that well that I could compare it yeah my wheel disconnected somehow even though I didn't unplug any cables or anything just something happened hopefully this race will be better and if not, I'll change to a more powerful car in the next championship, and then I'll see again if it's if the difference is coming from me or from the car. And now the wheel just turned lightning quick all the way to the right. I hope that this isn't the last stream that I'll be playing with this playing with this bad boy. And yeah, this is gonna be a horrible start. Since I'm down on power compared to those guys and I'm last. I can hopefully gain from those crashes. 
and yeah, I was just holding my line. I wasn't doing anything illegal as far as I'm concerned. Probably like Tanak, since there is a slight possibility that he would understand Finnish, and Estonian isn't that much different from Finnish. Did he go around the outside or not? Where is he? All right. Almost went wild there. But yeah, nothing I can do with this car. Maybe I just. Should pick the cars with more horsepower. Right from the beginning. And yeah, I'm just completely drifting at the moment. That's not typical for me at all. At least second place, but wasn't that good driving from me, and surprisingly small gap to the fastest lap of th that Bruno guy. Considering that my car has like 120 horsepower, it's less than his. So it is nice. And yeah, as I've probably said like a million times before, I feel like I'm the most competitive at hell. So hopefully I can snatch up a lucky victory here or something. I think I'll try. Well, I'll have to see if they're going for the Joker early or not. Not really since it would since it would be like a really short video. And mm, I think that would be too short. And I can't reach the top positions on the leaderboard in Rally Cross. So my ego wouldn't let me let that shit slide. Well, that wasn't up to me. Apparently, there was someone who was jealous of my bandana or something. Shame, really. But yeah, let's see if I could get one more custom championship. And this time, actually, in a powerful car, you know. In lobby, in lobby, let's go here. Alright, this is with the front wheel drive, the Super 1600s. 
Love it. Hopefully this will be good racing. Oh, well, that's interesting, the, the junior circuit. Everyone, as they wish. They apparently were waiting for something. Best non-rally slash car game. Do you mean like... Not a rally game at all, or a car or driving game at all. Is that, sh that what you're meaning, Oliver? Probably the EA Skate series on the last generation consoles. And yeah, the VW are really strong in the world RX this year. Um, I just didn't like at all how Extreme was able to win the f first three rounds even if he wasn't the fastest or nowhere close of being the fastest. There was always some bad luck and everything. Yeah, I think that's the correct decision here. But yeah, I hope that that one of the VWs will win this year the championship. Or oh, then Timmy Hansen. I don't know, but I've just started liking him a lot lately. <laughs> that was really gutted when he was he got that puncture on the final going to go all black and hopefully I'll get some racing with this guy at least it would be like equal cars at the moment that would be nice What did you think about that? Hopefully that face will haunt you all in your nightmares. Next night. Who? Do you mean that guy who's here in the lobby with me? Yeah, it's really close between Ferrari and Mercedes at the moment. Really close. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's not going to start. So, bye. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, this is this is the last attempt on getting the race. I think I'll go with the fist as well, so he won't have any advantage. There, yeah, finally we got the race. Hopefully it will be equal. I 
and he is French as well. Uh, fuck this, like 16 different setups and only one of them was telling what it was. see that from like a mile away so I decided not to go to the choker and yeah really probable since you know it's organized in Yvaskula and that's the place that I happen to live in so yeah I don't think that I'm fast enough Yeah, he's really close. I think he's going to go ahead of me. Um, the Joker, especially if I drive it that, that horribly. And yeah, I'm using the... Timur Sano, or however the hell you pronounce it, livery here, so that must be the reason why I'm so slow. <laughs> wow, that, that, that guy is fast. Like, really goddamn fast. Damn, he's faster than me going to the fridge in the morning. That's quick. <laughs> yeah, two more races to go, and after that, I'll probably call it a night streaming. Streaming was, and I'll finally can go to the bathroom. <laughs> I've been holding it in for like. 30-40 minutes already <laughs> that's w that's why I'm so slow actually I'm so heavy I have all that all those liquids inside of me all that sounded wrong but whatever you guys know what I was talking about at least I hope so and I have apparently no interest to win this race at all at least judging from my driving that is
Yeah, no way I could catch that guy. No way. He's stupid fast. And 0 0.4 seconds quicker than me on a single lap as well. That's a lot. On this circuit it's like... This circuit is like 3 or 4 steps long if you're walking it. So to get that much of a difference in that short of distance, it's really impressive. Alright, it was nice to have you here, Jeremy, chatting with us. Hopefully you can join us the next time as well, which I don't know when it will be, since I'm quite busy this week. Now I have a setup for this track. Hopefully this is good since sometimes when I create setups it's like it feels good in, on that day but when I'm using that setup some other day it's just like whoa what the hell I've been drink drinking no but what the hell I've been thinking to be precise. Fuck, I blew it. Alright. That wasn't something that I did enjoy. So... Whoa, what is this guy doing? I didn't know that the Lance Troll has a PS4 and he's playing Dirt Rally. We're expecting that the car ahead will joke on the last lap. Repeat, last with that guy he's really fast unbelievably fast no way I could catch him but yeah surprisingly close on the fastest lap times at least if that's any <laughs> consolation for me but not that good anyway oh surprising wonder where he got that penalty from But yeah, that was pretty much all for today. So thank you for watching and please subscribe if you want some notifications on future videos and streams. Thank you for watching and chatting and all that. It's been fun once again with you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye.